Hello everyone, my name is Valerie Fernandez and I am deeply honored to shed light on a topic that touches the lives of countless individuals worldwide, body image disorders. Body image disorders or BIDs are insidious mental health conditions characterized by a relentless preoccupation with one's appearance and a persistent dissatisfaction with body shape or size. These disorders such as anorexia, bulimia can wreak havoc on one's well-being and daily functioning. But today, I want to delve deeper into the heart of this issue by exploring the profound influence of culture on body image perceptions and experiences. You see, while the core symptoms of BIDs remain consistent, cultural factors significantly shape how these disorders manifest and are even experienced. Let's start by examining the pervasive influence of the media. I always like to say comparison is the thief of joy, and that couldn't be more true with social media, which is now easily accessible to everyone worldwide. There is an article they found by the Cleveland Clinic in 2023 in which they state, and I quote, We see that filters and editing tools are driving a lot of self-concern and anxiety, Dr. Bryan says. When you don't like the way you look on screen, you can just magically fix it with a swipe of your finger. End quote. In our digital age, images and even messages promoting specific beauty standards inundate our screens, leaving many feeling inadequate and dissatisfied. The pressure to conform to unrealistic ideals is relentless, particularly affecting our youth who are still developing their self-esteem. Not only does the media influence us culturally, but so does socialization. Our families, our peers, our communities, they all play a pivotal role in shaping our attitudes towards our bodies. Does the apple really fall far from the tree? Our favorite activities, our politics, even the kinds of food we like to eat, so many things are influenced by our parents. This, of course, influences our feelings about weight and how to stay in shape. When a parent is outwardly concerned about losing weight and dieting or has a noticeably poor body image, impressionable children often begin to copy these attitudes, and it becomes a cycle that starts in childhood and can carry into adulthood. And not only that, but also our friends, which is a really big one to me because you spend a lot of time with your friends. It's how they kind of grow your personality in a way. And conformity to peer standards may lead to individuals to adopt certain behaviors or attitudes towards their own bodies, whether it be positive or negative. Peer pressure, particularly during adolescence, can influence choices related to appearance, such as clothing, grooming, or dieting behaviors. And that's why they say you are who you hang around with, because it's true. But culture variations and BIDs go beyond mere social influence. They touch the very core of our societal values and norms. First, I would like to touch upon Western cultures. In Western cultures, thinness for women and masculinity for men are often idealized, leading to disorders like anorexia nervosa and muscle dysmorphia. In an article titled The Effects of Homogenization of the Western Beauty Standards by Parsha Sharma, she states in her paper that relentless portrayal of the Western ideal leads to body dissatisfaction among women who do not fit into this narrow standard, with more than half of all women reporting dissatisfaction within their bodies. The globalization of media has spread Western beauty ideals worldwide, eroding traditional women from body dissatisfaction. And as a result of this, women from diverse ethnic backgrounds are increasingly affected by the pressure to conform to Western beauty standards, leading to rising rates of body dissatisfaction and subsequently eating disorders. Not only that, but also men. Men are often encouraged to strive for a lean and muscular physique, which is associated with strength, athleticism, and attractiveness. When that's not always the case. Now let's talk a little bit about non-Western cultures to give a more in-depth about this um, presentation. Now, for to begin with, Japanese culture, it places an emphasis on concepts such as harmony, respect, and hierarchy. Traditional Japanese beauty standards may prioritize features like porcelain skin, small faces, and petite stature. There was even a study done in 2006 among female college students in Japan found that in a sample of over 7,000 students, 19.8% reported moderate to severely abnormal eating attitudes using a cutoff scores in an EAT26. An EA26 is basically like an eating attitudes test where you are used to identify the presence of eating disorder risk based on attitudes, feelings, and behaviors related to eating. And overall, Japanese society values modesty, harmony, conformity, which can influence attitudes towards body image. There may be less emphasis on individualism and self-promotion compared to American culture, leading to different priorities in terms of physical appearance overall. Now let's talk about another non-question culture to give more depth, um, specifically African cultures. Africa is a continent with diverse cultures, languages, and traditions. In many African societies, beauty ideas um, may celebrate features such as dark skin, full lips, and curvaceous bodies. And... Um, Overall, it shapes their perception of body image in ways that differ from Japanese and American perceptions. While there may be similarities in this celebration of beauty and self-expression, African beauty standards are often influenced by culture, traditions, community values, and resistance to 
Western norms leading to diverse and nuanced perspectives on body image within the continent. Lastly, the one I want to cover in this presentation is um, Middle Eastern cultures. They have such a rich traditions and values um, that are influenced by Islam, Arab customs, and local traditions. Beauty standards in Middle Eastern societies may vary, but there's often an emphasis on modesty and elegance. This emphasis on modesty can impact perception of beauty and ideal body types with an emphasis on covering certain parts of the body. And in many um, in Middle Eastern societies, Islamic teachings emphasize inner beauty, humility, and self-respect, which can influence perceptions of physical appearance. Modesty in dress and behavior is often seen as a reflection of piety and adherence to religious values. Now, in contrast, Western um, cultures may place less emphasis on modesty and have different standards of appropriate attire, which goes to show that there are so many cultural variations to base a body image off of. Amidst these cultural differences lies a common challenge, the diagnosis and treatment of body image disorders, particularly when considered cultural factors are significant and multifaceted. Diagnosis criteria based on Western ideals may overlook the nuances of cultural attitudes towards body size and appearance, leading to misdiagnosis and underdiagnosis. And healthcare professionals are thus essential for accurately diagnosing and effectively treating BIDs. And this requires awareness of own cultural biases. This requires knowledge of cultural variations of body image norms, values, and attitudes and just understanding how all these factors intersect with other aspects of identity such as race, ethnicity, religion, and socioeconomic status. This leads me to the question, but where do we go from here? How can we address these complex issues? And the solution to all of this is in awareness, advocacy, and celebration. We must promote awareness of cultural factors in BIDs, enhancing understanding and empathy, advocate for the development and implementation of culturally sensitive resources and supportive services, and just embrace and celebrate you know, diverse beauty standards, challenging unrealistic ideals perpetuated by mainstream media and societal norms. Let us stand united in our commitment to creating a more inclusive and compassionate society, one where body image is not a source of pain, but a source of pride. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you gained in more insight and knowledge into this topic.